Yeah, it's a scary world when you, you know, you don't teach, you don't teach kids to love, love America and have pride in, in their country. And, you know, instead you indoctrinate them to, to have pride in things like the pigment of their skin and who they want to have sex with and shit. Yeah. You know, instead of something more meaningful and something that's been built and sacrificed for, you give them, you indoctrinate them to have this pride and, and things that mean, mean nothing. Yeah. You know, so you create this meaningless, uh, way of thinking and meaningless, uh, sense of pride, you know, so, so we're all worried about these things, skin color and, and, uh, who you want to sleep with, you know, that, that's what we're worried about. Right. You know? I know. It. Well, I was thinking about the articles I read and one of them interviewed this young woman who was pro Palestinian, anti Israel, and she belongs to a socialist organization. Mm -hmm. And we know it. And, and it kind of, it, it reminds me too also that we've been seeing this democracy. We've been seeing people describe us as a democracy time and time again. It is, we are not a democracy. In fact, socialism and democracy are closely related. And we're a constitutional republic. And they want us to be a democracy because it's much different. In fact, but every democracy that has ever been has failed. Short, very short lived. That's what they want. They want to destroy this country. Mm -hmm. It's not a democracy. It's a constitutional republic, and they're different in very important right and very important ways. Yeah, and like socialism is like a weird thing. Like, I don't, I don't understand how how somebody could could uh, support that. The idea of of not being able to to thrive based upon your own merit, based upon your own work ethic yeah and where how far you want to go as a as an individual I, and most of them i don't think have any idea what it really is you know maybe maybe uh uh some are you know it's all about equality right mm -hmm. that's bullshit it fails every time democracy socialism you know mm -hmm. it's just it's terrible and uh you know Roughly half of the country seems to want to go that way. Yeah, and what is what does equality mean? Like equality, like I think we should all have a an opportunity to thrive based upon our own work ethic. Yes. Other than that, like what what are you asking for? Are you asking for the government to make sure we're all taken care of in the same way, and that we can't we hit the same ceiling at some point where where I, I, nobody can make it farther than than somebody else, or? And I would guess half of the country that seems to want to vote left or Democrat. I mean, I can't imagine many of them really want to be a socialist country. Yeah. And in a socialist society, you know, the people aren't the ones that, that inspire other people. The government wants to take that place and wants to inspire right. the people in whatever way they see fit. Yep. It's not a, uh, you know, I feel like humans should have that, that say in things, not a some machine system. Right. Well, it's like Kamala Harris suggesting uh, in, uh, legislating the price of goods. That's, that's socialism. That'll, that'll be terrible for our country. That's terrible for any country. Mm -hmm. that, that's government controlling the price of goods. I mean, that's socialism. That's that's the direction that goes in. Yeah, I would I would say that that uh, you know I, I would prefer to inspire my children and show them what's possible and where they could go or somebody else that they read about that's doing great things. I would I would like for them to be able to experience that. Yeah, because it leads to mediocrity, right? Nobody wants their kids to be mediocre. Yeah. Nobody really wants that. Uh huh. Right. You want equality or a chance at being a successful person yeah you know mm -hmm. 
it's obviously a thing where it creates laziness. I mean, it does. It's a well, or it's you for don't have people no, that don't want to. You don't work have that option. hard, right? Yeah, I don't want to work that hard. So let's make everything equal, so I don't have to work as hard. But there's somebody that has that has worked very hard that's allowed you to not have to work work as hard as you. Yeah, might have needed to if if they didn't. Yeah, I mean, there's and there's institutions within our country that lead to mediocrity. I mean, they're out there. We don't yeah. need our our country to be mediocre. We don't need socialism. Nobody wants so it's fail. It's fails. I mean, you can see it all over the world. And this is this is hard to live in a constitutional republic, right? It does reward those that work really hard and work really smart and sacrifice and and do all that, but it's worth it. It's more power to the people. That's yes. why this country was created. Yes. Socialism is not power to the people. It's like you said, power to the government. Mm -hmm. People don't really want that. I mean, some do, but they don't really know what they're talking about. Yeah, do People you trust, really don't want that stuff. Would you trust people or would you trust government? Like yeah. Which, which one is it? Yeah. What are they doing? How do they make you feel right now? Yeah. <laughs> last three and a half years. Shit, last 20 years. Mm-hmm. Except for a couple, right? But yeah, what's the last like war that that was the right thing to get into? Yeah, what, when's the last one that we've been involved in that's been the right thing to get into since World War Two? Yeah, there hasn't been one. No. Reminds me of that quote uh, we, that I shared with you the other day. I think it's Benjamin Franklin said something like. Government determines the enemy, and that is war. Mm -hmm. The people determine the enemy, and that's revolution. Yeah. I think it's about fucking time for that. Well, like evolution, too. You know, like you, things need to evolve, and when you kill off a population, it's hard, to, hard for a population to evolve and learn for themselves and keep things moving and bring up the next generation. When you kill off a population in war... You take out all the strong men, all the men who could have created the next best generation. Yeah. And it's easier to easier to, to trick a population <clears throat> when the strong men are gone. Strong women too. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's right. It's it's both. It requires both. You know, so so what's so I don't know, what's so in, uh intriguing to these these people about socialism, about these uh these uh, progressive ideas and uh well, they want to be yeah. taken care of. They want comfort. They're choosing comfort. Well, I'm not. Maybe not the. the I'm talking about the the leaders of these these movements and these ideals. You know, why why are they just like why do they? What's making them believe it? Well, I, you know, I, like the Kamala Harris or the Bernie Sanders or well, you know, anybody on that side of thing. What's what's their motive? I don't know. I I think because they're able to do great. Yeah, I, I right. Right, I don't know how she got there, but um, this is, I think it's this delusion of, well, to some, I think to some it's power. It's all about power and control, right? Power and control over the people. If you can get yourself into a seat of power and have control over a body of people, that's very appealing to some. I think the other thing is, um, you know, for like the young woman who's a part of the socialist movement, uh, she wants fairness. Equality. That's what they want. They don't want. They they envy the people that are that have kicked ass in their life and had success and worked really hard for it. Right. They en they don't want to work that hard. So they want to bring them down to their level. And make everybody f make it fair for everybody. Yeah. What it's is the most that? overused word in our vocabulary is fair. It's, or, the it's the worst word in our vocabulary. Yeah. Or least understood word like what it's fair so overused it's a very broad term yeah fair yes um i don't know any fair situation that's that's made me better or anybody around me better yeah um you know there there are applications of the word that are absolutely appropriate but it's so overused and used as a crutch by so many so that they don't have to go work harder or, or do all the things they need to personally to put themselves into a position to win. 
Yeah, that's what that's, it comes down to. I think that's freedom. You know, yeah, freedom's Absolutely. pretty fair. Yeah, it means anybody from any walk of life has has a chance. Mm-hmm. Well, in fairness and democracy, socialism, those are all very similar things, right? Mm-hmm. They are. But I, but you know, some want that. Some just want to use it to create this structure that gives a certain number of people power over everybody else. That's what they want. Yeah. It takes a lot of manipulation to make people believe that, that such few, such few people have power over so many. And they've been working on it for years. Look where we're at. Half the country wants that kind of life. Yeah. And the other half's ready to die for it. Mm. To defend. Is it really a half though that really want that? I don't know. You know, there's good, there's good, um, there's bad people on both both sides, and there's good people on both sides. That's absolutely and, right. So that's yeah. what I said. It takes a lot of manipulation to make people believe. Yeah, we've been so polarized though. This this half wants this, and half. I mean, we've been like that for a little while. I don't know. I don't know how. It's very sophisticated. There's a lot strategies of strategies by these elite powers mm. to get people to align like that. Yeah. There's just a lot of polarizing things created that, uh, that draw people into the, to the same thing, you know, like the race thing, the gender thing, the, uh, who you want to have sex with stuff, the, um, the war stuff, like, you know, it just divides people. So, in, you know, just instantly. Yeah. And it, you know, there's always two sides to it. You're either on this side of it or that side, and there's no there's there's no uh, coverage. There's no uh, there's no love in the middle. Right. Yep. It's uh, very very true. Divisive. Well, we've talked about it before too. We've lost our way with God as a country, and and uh, even as a world, and that's created a lot of, of the problems we have today. It is a good and evil thing. At the end of the day, it's good and evil. And I'm not saying that people that believe a certain way are evil. I would suggest that, and it goes both sides, like you said, there's good and bad people on both sides. I believe, and you know, I've only come to this conclusion more recently in my own personal journey, but the weaker a person's relationship is with God, the more Satan can use that person to influence. Satan's at work all the time and trying to work through all of us. He's the ruler of this world. You know, God's the ruler of heaven. Satan's the ruler of the world. And he's always trying to work through us to create this chaos and to turn us against God and to turn us against each other and, 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 uh, make this world chaotic as he possibly can. And so people don't necessarily act with evil intentions, but he's working through them more than others. Does that make any sense? Mm-hmm. Depending on their relationship with the Lord. Yeah, I think um, if you live without, without thinking for yourself and without uh, simple common sense, um, you know, it is uh, easy for for Satan, for evil to, to rule over you. Yeah. You know, but if you flip that switch, I think it's, you know, God is the ruler of the world. I think, you know, um, there's a lot of good people out there that can that can make an impact and create change. There's enough people out there that, that do think the right way that maybe just don't speak up. No, absolutely. Um, that is true. Yeah. We need a lot more people speaking up. You know, it's... Uh, it Shout is. out to those Gen Xers that are starting to do that, mm-hmm. by the way. It is our job to to invite folks in to thinking the way we do, but it's it's God's. You know, God has the rest. You know, God does the rest. That's right. Um, yeah. There's only so much you can do for, for people. Yeah. That's very true. Yeah. I mean, I'm ready to raise the black flag. And I always got to remember, too, that you're supposed to rely on God to take care of much of this bullshit yeah uh, i'm still ready to raise the red the black flag though yeah anytime <laughs> yeah yeah it's a it's a crazy cr- 
crazy time right now with uh, social media and uh, yes, yeah, social media, media. It's all controlled. Nobody's giving you their just reporting things. It's you know everybody's reporting things, but with their opinion mixed into it. And yeah. you, you can't just get to get to facts. You know something happens to Trump or something happens to Biden, and you can't you can't go anywhere just to read read what's happening. I know there's very few sources that are honest and high level of integrity. Yeah, Trump gets shot, and CNN's like, "Yeah, he fell down the stairs or something." Yeah, you know. So, well, there was a gunshot. <clears throat> they wanted so much for that not to be real. And it's yeah, it's well, you know, both sides do that and yeah manipulate and both use the media yeah 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 the media is so important to our country the free press and they have become so corrupt in this whole thing the fact that we can't rely on the media is just terrible for our country yeah yeah and people um resort to that for for their own I mean they rely on it <clears throat> yeah you know they uh, some people just aren't able to to think for themselves purely it's very true um, or they they don't take enough time to actually watch something as it's happening mm-hmm. you know they wait till after and they're like oh, I'll read it read up on it well you take From, us for example read up on it Take us, for example, what happened to us in, like, March of this year, right? Mm -hmm. We had a few people take one little clip out of one little episode and come to a conclusion on what kind of people we were. Yeah. It happens all the time to people, Mm -hmm. to brands, to companies, to whoever. You know, they like you said, they're not taking time to look at the full body of work or look at multiple sources or whatever to come to some conclusion. Or just assume that everybody's not perfect. Like, like, right. you know, not that we we even on that episode not that we even said anything that nobody else is saying right now yeah but um, it wasn't anything new you know just immediately calling us racist and terrorists uh, yeah terrorists yeah it's pretty weird yeah it is that's that's uh that's our world today unfortunately yeah and we just gotta keep our heads up keep doing what we're doing play some small part in bringing America back and and uh, standing up for what's right, even when we're standing alone. Yeah, it's hard to believe that America was ever, you know, you could ever trust our government. Yeah. You know, everything that you're seeing right now, everything that reveals itself, it's like, this couldn't have just been a, just like a recent thing. Yeah, I mean, you always have to be skeptical of government, right? Yeah. Forever, ever. Doesn't matter what you got to be skeptical of government. Our founder, our founding father said you need to remain skeptical of government. Yeah. Even though they perfected, they created the perfect constitutional republic, they always said you got to be skeptical of your government. Should always be that way. Yeah. Perfect, as in like the right, the true meaning of fair. Everybody has an opportunity. Everybody's no matter where you come country. from, that doesn't mean you're going to start off in the first in the same place as the man next to you. That's right. That's right. That just means if you put your mind to it, you know, you can make it as far as you want to. That's right. And that's the way it should be. Everybody should have access to opportunity. Everybody does. It's up to them. Well, I know, but that's the way it's got to continue to be. Yeah. It's up to them if they get there. Mm. Right. Circumstances don't make a man. Right. Yeah, and that doesn't mean DEI. No. That doesn't mean... Speaking of that, I was thinking about that a little bit this weekend. You know how I talk a lot about leadership Mm -hmm. and how important it is to everything in our lives. If we really... All right. Good, effective leadership in an organization, a community, whatever. You don't have to have DEI. You just need great leadership. Yeah. Because they'll hire and promote and coach and develop people and give everybody access to that opportunity. It's all about leadership. It always is. It always will be. You don't need DEI to make sure that happens. That just, 
in a lot of ways, in a lot of companies and organizations, that's just making people feel good. And that means like the black gay chick with the dick might not be the CEO. <laughs> it just might not be. It just might, might not. not happen. Might not. You know? But the opportunity is there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, it just shouldn't be forced down everybody's throat. That's right. No pun intended. Yeah. You know. <laughs> well, that you know, to be serious though, we are about freedom and opportunity for all people. We don't yeah. we don't there's no exceptions. Like yeah. you said though, we just don't want people imposing them and their beliefs on other people and requiring other people to believe a certain way. Yeah. That's not freedom. Because if you start doing that, I mean, if you read the numbers, like how many great black gay chicks with dicks are there? There's probably not as many as there are great white people or great black people or great Mexicans. You know, the that, numbers are yeah. just, that's just statistics. Yeah. Point like, zero zero if you three just start, percent of the population. If you is, just start forcing all the black gay chicks with dicks into CEO positions or into positions of power or into positions that that have a deciding factor in other people's lives. If you force them all into it, it's just not going to work. Right. It's not, you know, so DEI is just, it's bullshit. It um, is. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I understand the intention that, you know, people that sort of created, create these kinds of concepts, they have great intentions. Yeah. I understand it. I do. Yeah. Great leadership though. But we should just focus on great leaders, cultivating great leadership. Absolutely. And then you don't need all that. Yep.